Hello my crafty friends, it's P. I am here to share a bit of happy mail as well as a project share and a small Amazon haul. So let's just jump right into the, the happy mail. Sorry for the angle of the camera today. I was having real difficulty. I'm gonna warn you guys now I'm a little loopy. <laughs> I had a very long day of walking. I have been, let's see, was it last Thursday? I think, I think it was last Wednesday. I went to the optometrist to have my eyes checked because I've been having some difficulty seeing and I've noticed some changes and I do it every year anyway. I didn't think that there was going to be that much of a drastic difference, but unfortunately I have cataracts. And yeah, <laughs> so um, my left eye has gone dupe and my right eye has stayed the same. So I've been hunting and hunting and hunting for days since last Wednesday for glasses. I know it's all the rage. These big, huge, honking glasses that everybody wants to wear. I'm not one of them. And because I have such a small head, seriously, <laughs> I have a very petite head. It is really, really hard to find glasses that don't make me look like I don't know, mod from Star Wars. <laughs> I'm trying to find glasses. I found one pair for work because um, the doc wants me to have two pairs. One just with a very strong, you know, the bifocal, just a, just a straight on bifocal through the whole lens. And then another pair um, that I wear out with the bifocal and the distance stigmatism. So. Uh, even though my eyesight's been 2020, and my right eye is still 2020, but because of astigmatism, I have to wear glasses. So, and now my left eye, I re actually really, really need them. But anyway, so just one of the lovely things that happens with age, and you know, so she said I'll probably need surgery within two to five years. Yay! <laughs> no. This happy mail is from Tina Kappa, who you guys know as Tina Bean here on YouTube. I will put her link to her channel below. She's amazing. She's absolutely amazing. I have started to get to know Tina this year, and I love her to death. She's so fun. She's so caring and sweet. And I happen to say, you know, I was looking for something from Tuesday morning and I couldn't find them. And of course, she sent them to me along with a few other things. So look at that package here, guys. She's got some cute little, sorry for the glare, some cute little um, owl washi tape. And it says Happy Mail. So sweet. Thank you so much, Tina. You are far too generous. Too, too kind. So she sent these. These are Whimsy Stamps enamel dots and they're flat. And I love that they're flat. I will so use these, Tina. Thank you so, so much. And I really love the colors because they're the fall colors. And anybody that knows me knows that fall is my favorite time of year. It's cool, it's crisp, it's time to throw stuff in the crock pot. Yeah. And then she sent, of course, my favorite color, <laughs> the um, Heidi Swap bows. These are adorable, and I did not have these. That one's my favorite. It's my favorite color. It's pearl and polka dots. Can't get any better than that. The glitter's awful nice, too, though. I love green and blue, so these are just gorgeous. I'll try not to hoard them. <laughs> And then this was the thing that I was looking for, these Maggie Holmes Puffy Hearts. I think these will make the cutest paper clips, not only for layouts, but for my binder, my planners, you know, all that fun stuff. So I plan on using um, at least two of these for paper clips. So that'll be fun. 
And then she sent me a stamp set, you guys. I can't believe her. She sent me this gorgeous stamp set. It's by My Mind's Eye. Mm, I can't read what... Yes, Please is the name of the stamp set. So, and she got it at Tuesday morning. Super sweet. I hope the glare isn't too much. Love the hearts. The best day. You are loved. Happy party. XOXO. Lots of hearts and little flowers. Hello. I love that script. Lovely. Best. Another little flower. Hashtags. Super, super cute. Oops. I forgot the card. I am so sorry. <laughs> this card... Oh my gosh, you guys, this card is so adorable. Look at this card. Is that not the cutest little bear? Look at him. He's holding a heart. I love this. This card is gorgeous, Tina. I love the colors on it. I love the watercolor paper that you did, the enamel dots, the layering of the hearts, and the hugs, you guys. She layered and layered. I don't know if you guys are going to get that without too much glare. Um, trying to show. She layered and layered and layered it up and then put glossy accents on it. It is so cute. And it's got Wink of Stella on it too, I do believe. I love it. And plaid paper. I mean, she hit all my soft spots, right? So cute. And there's her signature, Tina Kappa. And inside is just just as pretty. She stamped along the edge and she did this die cut heart and it says, P, hello, sweetie, just a little happy mail. I hope you like hugs, crafty bean. Love, love, Tina. Not like, love. Thank you so, so much. I will treasure this card forever. I keep all of my cards. There's even a little bit of... Um, Wink of Stella here, and the little heart is glittered, and a little bit went over the bear. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's the little card. And then she sent a paper pad, you guys. Please, which matches the stamp set. It is black, white, plaid polka dots, and gold foiling. OMG. I mean, just... Gorgeous. Double-sided. Look at that heart paper. Love it. It is so pretty, Tina. Thank you so, so much. This will be perfect for a graduation card I need to make for my niece who just graduated. Well, my great-niece, actually. That is just gorgeous. One had a baby, and her sister graduated from high school. I mean... Lots of big things going on. More polka dots. That's really, really pretty and matches the stamp set. That's gorgeous. Sorry for the glare, guys. We got a little bit, some striping. Big heart, XO, and then it repeats. So thank you so much, Tina. I love this paper pad and I have a few cards to make, so I plan on using this stack. So that is my Happy Mail. Now I'm going to show you guys a project I did. But first I'm going to show you what I used. Okay, so this is a little different project. It's an altering project. You guys will see in a second. So I used these doilies, and I just got these from MFT. They were on back order for quite a bit. And it's the MFT Delicate Doilies. So that's those. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to fix that. And then I used my Tim Holtz Flurry Snowflake. And that is a beautiful, beautiful die. And then I also used... Oh, actually, I used this, both of these. I used the PTI Doily Detail, too. I used that one. And then the last one is a Magnolia. And this is the Magnolia Doohickey Volume 7 2015. And I use this one right here, which is kind of a snowflake, but you're getting a glare, so I'm trying to keep it down. But it's really, really pretty. Very open cut design. And it was nice to pull that out of my Christmas stash. 
and this. I used some spray paint too, you guys, but you'll see here in a second. This is what I did. You guys know this pink, pink, hot pink, obnoxious pink <laughs> ATG gun. I am in the process of removing everything in my room that had pink. Tools, etc. One way or another, I am bound and determined to do that. It's all getting spray painted. <laughs> or something. <laughs> so I painted this, um, the color is called Ice Gray and it's by Rust-Oleum and it has primer in it. And then I used um, Krylon, I think it is, glitter paint and diamond. And I don't know if the sparkle is coming up without the glare. Hopefully it is. It does have sparkle. There, maybe you can see it. And then I took all those dyes and cut it out of white vinyl. I used some stickles in this area and on the back side, and I'll show you in just a second, I used the diamond, the stardust, and the crystal because there wasn't much in any of these. So I used what was there. So I put the vinyl on it and I put the glitter back here and I just love the way that this came out. I had to tape the crap out of it and um, there's still a little pink showing like right here. I didn't want to spray paint that because I didn't want to get stuck but I can live with that because I don't really see it. That's why I put the vinyl on it because I didn't want to see that pink. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's so funny. So there's just one spot that the vinyl didn't stick down all the way but I think it turned out really, really cute. And then the backside is all sparkle. Love it. I actually used a um, sponge brush and dabbed it on. And the reason I did that is because I made a boo-boo. I wanted to add, I had goofed and hit the paint after I had put the sparkle on. And so I needed to sand it down and retouch it up. Well, I decided instead of, I'd already removed all the tape. So I decided instead of putting tape back on it, because it's expensive and it takes a while, I decided that I would wrap it in saran wrap on a hot day. I know better. And I do not know what I was thinking, but it was dumb. Because what happened is it pulled off the paint. Yeah, I let it sit too long in the saran wrap out in the sun and it pulled off the paint. So all of this was mucked up. So I had to respray it, I had to retape it, respray it, and then I still had spots where it just didn't smooth out. I would have to go all the way down to the pink again and I didn't want to do that. So I sprayed it a couple of times and then I just put this stickles all over it. I'm still going to seal it. It doesn't come off, but I'm still going to put some sealer on it and uh, a clear sealer to make sure that it doesn't come off at all and um, or it doesn't rub off over time from use. And um, yeah, so I love it now. So I'm just going to put a quick and on this, I even sprayed the glitter too on the outside of this one. I didn't want to spray the inside with the glitter because that could interfere with the mechanism, I was afraid. So, I love it. I love how it turned out. So that is my project share. And now for my haul. Amazon, it's just two things. So the first thing is this. This is a storage studios. It's what I call the cropper hopper. So that's what it looks like. I needed another one of those for my 12 by 12 and now I can't buy any more paper except for what can fit in these. I have eight of them. So actually I have nine because I have one that has chipboard but that's not in with my 12 by 12 paper. So I got that and then the other thing I got was this. This is the WOW embossing powder gun 
and it has the two settings on it so it's kind of like your really heavy duty I can't think of the name of that other one that I have um, the black one that Jennifer McGuire uses I really like it it heats up really quick but sometimes you need something with a little less blow I guess and when I saw this on Hedgehog Hollow, I knew I had to get it, at least try it. And if I bought it through Amazon, I could send it back. So that's what I did. And it was a little bit more on Amazon than it was through some of the other sellers. But I could get it right now, like in two days, and I could try it out. And if I didn't like it, I could send it back. So, but I actually love it. I tried it out with some watercolor paper because watercolor paper has a tendency to curl really fast if you get it too hot. And it's perfect because it has the two settings. I think I'm going to love this. At least what, you know, a little bit of play that I did with it for probably about 15, 20 minutes. I love it. And it's white. So it's awesome. The only problem is, is that I'm really messy. I often use this for my doll work and it's probably going to get paint on it, which that's going to stink. But we shall see if I can keep it clean. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is my haul. That is my wonderful Happy Mail. Where's my card? Super, super cute. Thank you so, so much, Tina. You are just amazing. Love you to bits. And I will catch you guys soon. Make a happy memory. And I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.